तो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पार्सलेबल एंड सीरियलाइजेबल इन एंड्रॉइड तो वेन एवर यू आर पासिंग डेटा बिटवीन योर कॉम्पोनेट लाइक बिटवीन योर एक्टिविटीज और वाइल यू आर नेविगेटिंग फ्रॉम वन स्क्रीन टू अनदर इन कम्पोज सो यू हैव टू पास सम डेटा इन अ स्पेसिफिक फॉर्मेट लाइक इन एक्टिविटीज यू कैन पास इट थ्रू इंटेंट एक्स्ट्राज एंड इन कम्पोज नेविगेशन यू कैन पास थ्रू नेव आर्ग्यूमेंट्स but when you have to pass some custom data class suppose this is our data class user and uh, which is having one parameter and it can have multiple not parameters multiple fields so these custom data classes should be either marked as parcelize parcelable or serializable and i will tell you the difference so in kotlin you can directly use this serializable annotation to make your class serializable and that means when you are passing data from one component to another so first it will be converted to a byte stream and then it will be sent to another component and then another component will receive it as a byte stream and then deserialize it to your custom data class so this is pretty easy task but it is more time consuming that's why in android we have a specific implementation of this serialization which is parcelable so here you have to extend your class with this interface you have to implement this parcelable interface and then you also have to use this parcelize annotation and for using this annotation you must have this plugin so in your android project you can directly use this plugin but if you are not using any android project you cannot access this parcelize annotation but suppose in any cross platform application you can directly still use this serialize serializable annotation because this is a standard java annotation and not any android platform specific so the implementation is here also pretty simple but uh, it was not back then because if you check this parcel level interface then here you will see any class which is implementing this parcel level interface should be implementing these functions describe content and then write to parcel and also this creator object and with using this annotation it is doing all this thing by default if you hover over it you can also read this thing here so with using this parcelable interface we are defining the serialization behavior for our compiler how we want to serialize our object and here you can see for every object every field we are having inside of our class will be added to this parcel so parcel object dot write integer and then data if we are having string then a string will be also written like this inside of a parcel object and for android that can be efficiently passed through one component to another so that simply means this parcelable is more performant more efficient in the case of android but it cannot be used outside of any android project and this serialization interface uses reflection that means all the objects fields and functions will be inspected at run time and as i told you it generates a temporary byte stream so so a lot of temporary data will be created and that will also trigger garbage collection so that is not uh, pretty efficient as compared to this parcelable interface so i hope you understood the difference if yes then make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and access the android interview playlist from the description